In this video we are going to create an entry module for this indicator. This is the commodity channel index indicator. It's an oscillator and it creates signals and whenever this green line here crosses one of the dotted lines it will create a signal. When the green line is above the upper dotted line that's a sell signal because we expect the prices to fall. And when the green line is below the lower dotted line, that would be a buy signal because now we expect the price to rise. Now, how can we create an expert advisor entry module for the commodity channel index that is able to create buy and sell signals and actually trade with a main module like the Forex trading framework? Well, to do that, please click on the little button here or press F4 in your meter trader. And now you should see the meter editor window. And here you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will call this file check entry underscore ICCI. Click on Continue, Continue, and Finish. And now you can delete everything above the onTick function and the two command lines here. And we don't need a void onTick function, but we will make it a string function called check entry. Within that function, we are going to create a string for the signal that will also have the name signal, but no value so far, because we are going to calculate that now. And that is done by using the ICCI function that comes with MQL4. It takes a few parameters. The first one is the symbol for the current chart. The second one and the last one are shift values. For example, you could move the drawing of the indicator to the right or to the left. We will calculate it based on 14 candles and we will use a typical price. If you click on insert indicators, oscillators, commodity channel index, you will also see 14 candles and typical price in the default values here. Actually, we want to buy if the value is above 100. That is the case whenever this line here is crossed. If we pause the indicator here and click on properties, you will see a tab called levels. The upper dotted line is on the plus 100 level. And the lower one is on the minus 100 level. So if the ICCI value is bigger than 100, we consider it to be overbought. And so we assign the word sell to our signal. In the other case, if it is below 100, so if ICCI value is smaller than minus 100, that would be a buy signal. So we assign the word buy to our signal. And in the last step, we need to return our signal to the main module. So what's the main module? In my case, it's the Forex Trading Framework. This is basically a collection of functions to open and manage trades. You can create and use your own main module, or you could download the demo version of the Forex Trading Framework from my website. It uses the include statement to include the newly created file for the ICC here. And basically you can trade almost every entry with it. So when you are done with the entry module for the commodity channel index, just save the entry module, import it in the main module, click on compile. And that worked without any errors here. So now we can click on this little button or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader we use a little trick. Let's click on Insert, Indicators, Oscillators, Commodity Channel Index. We will go with the default values and click on OK. Here is our indicator. And now we right click into the chart, click on Template, Save Template, and save it as tester.tpl because this is the template that MetaTrader is going to use for your backtest. And if you don't see the strategy tester here, you click on view, strategy tester or press Ctrl and R, select your main module, in my case it's the framework, enable the option for the visual mode here and start your test. 
And here is our little expert advisor at work. It has already made a few trades and we have a little profit. And now you know how to create an expert advisor entry module for the commodity channel index oscillator. And you have coded it yourself with a few lines of MQL4 code.